spinning array line. Uh, so I will take uh, speaking regarding the weather change in integrated TG, EGFR to 79 m mutation 0 data. So coming to the EGFR, so you know in EGFR mutated lung cancer, EGFR TKI is the standard therapy, but problem is that most of the population around 80 percent will develop some resistance over a period of time. And out of these majority are develops uh, EGFR T7 NTM mutation are counting for approximately 50 to 60 percent. So uh, after the Osimotin, this larger thing is the next drug which is considered a third generation and which targets specifically the T7 NTM. So it is a very specific third generation mutant selective irreversible inhibitor. And uh, additional advantage that it has a very good blood brain barrier penetration. Uh, between the osimertinib and the lagertinib, the difference is that uh, osimertinib is having is a substrate for the efflux uh, mechanism, but lagertinib is not. So it is a having a blood brain barrier penetration along with the uh, uh, not a substrate for the uh, efflux pump. So this, this is the data we will discuss. So it was a retrospective analysis from real world. So it was conducted in Korea in two centers, which included uh, around 103 patients. With the inclusion criteria is, is the uh, disease progression on the prior EGFR TKI therapy, and after progression, there should be a T7 NTM mutation on cyto liquid or uh, tissue biopsy. And those patients who is uh, along with the related team having added chemotherapy or some other drug will be excluded from this analysis. With the primary endpoint of uh, median progression free survival and multiple secondary endpoint of safety and median overall survival response rate. Duration of response and intracranial efficacy. So, coming to the baseline, you can see that it is a uh, baseline uh, demographic is typical of EGFR positive patients, included uh, majority of young population with the female predominance, good performance status, having uh, more majority are having never, uh, never smoker, or and in majority are 88 90 percent population is uh, around stage 4 disease. Around 65% were uh, EGFR exon 19 deletion and 35% exon 21 mutation. And prior therapy, you can see that almost all population has received EGFR TKI with uh, uh, first generation, and only two patients have received uh, one patient received dapamatinib and two patients received uh, osimertinib. And after uh, TKI, few patients have received chemotherapy and some have received immunotherapy as well. At baseline, around 37% population had uh, brain metastasis. So coming to the outcome, so median PFS was around 13.9 months uh, in this analysis. The duration of response, the time to treatment failure and the OS has not reached uh, during this uh, analysis. It was reported around 11 months. And coming to the response rate, so uh, there was around 62% res partial response along with the 33% stable disease. So overall disease control rate was around 92%, 94.2%. And then coming to the intracranial efficacy, so in intracranial at uh, 38 patients, uh, that is 37 per percent of the population had brain mass at the upfront. Out of these 33 percent, 33 of the 38 patients had a available disease. And the intracranial PFS was around 17 months. In a subgroup of 8 population uh, patients out of 38 who had along with the CNS mates had leptomeningeal disease. This population had a poor outcome with a PFS of only 6.1 months. Uh, in intracranial, the overall response rate was around again uh, uh, near 60 percent, that is 57.6 percent, with the overall disease control rate of around 93.5 percent. Of the population, nine patients had progression, of whom three had only brain progression, and six patients had brain plus extracranial pro progression. In uh, population uh, with the sinus metastasis, those who had uh, uh, at upfront uh, had no brain mass, they had a shown uh, better outcome that is PFS of around 16.7 months against those who had uh, brain mass with PFS of 8 months. Again, uh, you can see that uh, uh, Lezatinib had some side effects that we will discuss later. So those population who had dose reduction because of side effects, even the dose redu uh, reduction has not affected the outcome. Even the population who had dose reduction, they have shown some better outcome numerically. May, this may be because of the patients who had uh, some side effects because of dose modification, they were able to continue the treatment for longer period. And again, in respect of the EGFR mutation, the type of testing in all subgroups, they have shown that it will work well. Uh, this is against the ORA3 trial where they have shown 
ईजे फॉर एक्साम नाइनटीन डिविशन इज हैविंग अ बेटर आउटकम इज ओसी मटेरियल अगेन द ईजे फॉर ट्वेंटी वन म्यूटेशन बट इन दिस लेट इन बोथ दब फाइव शॉट इक्वल आउटकम सो दिस इज अ फॉरेस्ट क्रॉस तो यू कैन सी दैट एक्सेप्ट फॉर ईजे फॉर परफॉर्मेंस स्टेटस दे वॉज नो इंडिपेंडेंट रिटर फॉर द पुअर प्रोग्नोसिस दिस इज सेफ्टी सो अगेन लाइक अदर ईजे फॉर दिस इज अ मोर सेलेक्टिव सो द कॉमन साइंटिफिक लाइक रैशेज डायरिया आर लेस In leather knee, but the common side effect here is the paralysis. Approximately 35% that is one third, more than one third of the population had paralysis. But again, there was no any great by events and paralysis is manageable by the conventional therapy for peripheral neuropathy. Then conclusion: this again, this is after the laser 201. This is one of the largest data set for laser knee in real world uh, as a real real world images data, and it has shown significant efficacy. Not only extracurricular but also in CNS, and it was efficacious across the group, and it was well tolerated. The most common side effect was the paralysia. Then other data you can see that in OC material between T17 and T7 uh, NTM mutation here it, it is a PFS randomized data. It has shown PFS of 10.1 months against 4.4 months in chemotherapy, but again at longer term there was no any improvement in overall survival. Then there is a Mariposa two study where they have uh, studied three arms chemo plus abimentum app. Plus minus laser therapy against chemo alone. So again, they have shown chemo either chemo plus amiodarone or chemo plus amiodarone plus laser therapy. They have shown significant improvement in PFS and other outcome like overall response and better CNS control. Uh, next, we are waiting for the Mariposa trial. The initial outcome has been presented in uh, this this year's ISMO 23, and they have shown as compared to the OC therapy in first line, if you are able to give amiodarone and laser therapy, they have shown 30 percent reduction in the Uh, disease progression or this uh, is there so this is a uh, very early data we need to wait for the longer term data but at present uh, laser therapy is one more drug which is showing uh, positive effect in this and ntm mutation but still it is not available for our population and maybe uh, with the mariposa data availability maybe one uh, maybe become the standard of care against the osimertinib in first line setting with this i like to thank you